Happy birthday, America. We're celebrating it in international waters. I think we're about to go head to the pool for a little bit before everybody else gets in it. Yeah. Uh, maybe find some good food. We got the brewery tour at three, but up until then, there's really nothing going on. But right now we're in water mode and we're gonna go head to the pool and maybe go stop at Blue Iguana. So we'll see you then. See ya. breakfast Amanda? I got some biscuits and gravy, Okay. some potatoes and a slice of french toast. Mm. Pretty standard on carnival everything but I actually haven't had their biscuits and gravy before I don't think. I don't, I don't remember seeing them on the sunshine so I'm gonna try that. I got the french toast, uh, some potatoes and some sausage. Then a little chocolate milk and uh, some yogurt. This will have to do for first breakfast, but yep. the second breakfast will come. Yeah. Yummy. Alright, show me what these are. Ten. You have to car select it D. once for each person in the car. Ten. There's car me and Amanda. And Jeff equals three people, so I have to hit this three times. For me. And then once for Amanda. And then we wait at the car it tells you to go to. There are no buttons inside, so don't get in it. Yeah, don't just go climbing inside of an elevator. You'll be going for a free ride. Smash that close button. They'll be all right. Cruise on, y'all. We're just chilling, waiting for the pool to open. It's like 30 minutes past opening time. 40. 40. Almost 45 minutes. I don't know what's going on. Hopefully it opens soon because I'd like to cool off a little bit. It's pretty warm for just being. It's humid. Yeah. But it's really nice out still. So. Yeah, absolutely. A uh, little update on the pool. Um, I don't think it's going to be opening anytime soon. When we walked by it earlier, the water level was at its normal height. And it looks like it's about a foot lower than what it should be right now. So. Uh, they might be draining it to clean it or something, I'm not quite sure. The water in the pool looked kind of green too. Did it? Yeah. So maybe they're just cleaning it. I don't know. No, no, but yeah. We might go check out the Serenity, maybe check out the water slide situation. See if I can be brave enough to get on one. Hopefully she can, because I won't be. We'll, we'll, we'll see. about lunchtime right now. We got freshened up and I think we're gonna go try to do the Mongolian walk and see what that's all about. Yeah. So we're gonna go head up there. What deck's that on? I believe it's deck 11. It's right above the Lido marketplace. Yeah. So we're gonna head there and then I think we're gonna walk through the Lido buffet and see what they've got offering. If, it, if there's anything special for the fourth, I don't know if there is. So we'll let you know.
bring me some water around. You were just saying how arched you were. I am. Can they take your order from the bar? I don't know if you can get anything. He said wine or beer. Let me ask you if you want a soda too. So. Yeah, I got a soda. I got the, uh, the Tiger Draft. I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna give it a shot. I don't know, it's like a Michelob Ultra mixed with some grapefruit. Good or bad? Rate it. Give it like a 4.1. Okay, okay. I'd drink it again if it was given to me. I won't order it again. The Thai barbecue is like two spicy pepper levels, so I don't know how spicy it's gonna be. So I'm gonna try it. I'm dying. I can't handle it. Um, I'm gonna have to get something else. My mouth's literally on fire. I'm gonna cry. What'd you get from the buffet, Amanda? Mac and cheese. <clears throat> Uh, cornmeal hush puppies, fried chicken, and a filet. Oh. I think they're having some kind of like American theme, you know, Fourth of July. Exhausting. Too fast for me. Yeah, how much the drinks? <laughs> That's how he does. It's fine. We're here at the brewery tour. Uh, it costs 27 bucks a person. It's almost 28. Yep. So I don't know if you get anything with it besides beer, but we're gonna find out. We don't drink beer. So John and I will probably be finishing theirs up for him. We're just here for support. Yeah. Support. We can do it. <laughs> know first off uh, this is an interactive tour so if you guys have any questions or anything just raise your hand shout them out let me know this first beer we got coming around is our amber it's a little bit and it's gonna have some kind of like biscuity caramelly types of flavors This is the juice. This is our uh, brew house. This is where I do my part of the job. Uh, I mean, I also clean up after the yeast after they're done having their party. But uh, this is where I, I create the work, um, where the actual brewing takes place. We just finished up a tour at the Pig and Anchor Brewery. It was pretty informational. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I thought it was a lot of great information that I didn't really know. I know that I like beer and I like the darker beers, but I didn't know, you know, all the different things that went into making beer. Mike was super awesome. We also both got these certificates here. Uh, if we bring these back to the guys pick an anchor anytime throughout the week we can get a free pint. It's $27.95 a person and if you have the cheers package they take $7 off uh, for each person. Yeah, so 20 bucks. Uh, you also get the souvenir glass, uh, lots lots of beer during the thing. I mean they gave us for the four of us and I'm the only one that actually drinks beer really at the table. Uh, they brought out four pitchers. Five. Oh yeah, there was Five. there was a specialty beer. His uh his hate was his juicy, juicy, his juicy IPA. Juicy. Juicy. So you got five pitchers of beer between four people. Uh, we ended up sharing it with the table next to us who could really appreciate the, the flavors that were there. Yeah, so even though, you know, a lot of us didn't like beer at the table, I mean, it was still something different to do on a sea day. Uh, I recommend it, I mean. I think it was worth every penny, absolutely. 
even if you're not a big beer drinker, just go taste them. I mean, yeah, it's maybe, maybe you'll find something you like. Yeah, we're gonna go uh, check out some more stuff around the ship. We might go see what the IMAX has to offer. I don't think we're gonna see a video, but they uh, they say they have some thrill theater or something. But I haven't seen anything on the actual no. schedule, and I would really like to see what the thrill theater. Yeah, is. We've only seen it on Carnival's website. It says IMAX theater and then thrill theater. So we're probably going to go wander down there, check that out, and uh, if they don't have anything there, we might go check out the adult arcade a little bit. Uh, and then we're going to go to dinner with John and Annette a little bit later at the Pick and Anchor. Yeah. Time around, you know? That one? Yep. You know how to get to the room, you just don't know how to get out of the room. Did you just tassel somebody? Yeah. Yes, you did. That's a bummer. We really wanted to try out the Thrill Theater, but it's closed due to COVID. So, I guess we're gonna go wander around the ship some more, maybe help the adult arcade. So, after stopping at the IMAX, we decided to stop off here at the Alchemy Bar uh, to get a couple drinks. Yep. I'm getting a Peach Cosmo. And I got the Barrel Aged Negroni. I think that's what it is. Try it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I have no clue. So, would you get a peach cosmo? It smells like pink lemonade. It literally smells like pink lemonade. There's no way that's not pink lemonade. That's literally like Minimade pink lemonade. It kind of tastes like pink lemonade. <laughs> Did you find your drink finally? Um, no. No? It's, it's not really strong. Got a funky aftertaste that I'm not a fan of. Other than that, it's pretty good. You just try a sip of it. I'm not trying. Try a sip. Sir, you try. made me drink beer all day. And I hate it. Try a sip. I have to work up the courage for this. It's not funny, job. If even, honestly. Yeah. Welcome back. I'm currently $362.81 ahead. And, it, and we left you maybe five minutes ago. Things are going pretty good for the wandering muffins. Um, will it stay this way? I think not. No, How do you feel? because we have no self-control. But we're going to try our hands at this triple star. Yeah, honors of America. America. Yeah. Amanda couldn't control herself. We're still 200 ahead, but yeah, not as exciting as. I mean, when I say Amanda couldn't control herself, I couldn't control myself. That's true. He literally told me to put more money in. So we just got done checking out some karaoke in the Ocean Plaza. We decided that we needed to expand our stomachs a little bit more. So we're back at uh, Pig and Anchor, uh, but this time for some delicious food and even some better bread reviews. What'd you get, Jeff? Uh, double oak well, Woodford on the oh, rocks. Yeah. Oh. That's a lot of liquor in there. It's not old, it's just straight bourbon. Mm. It's a man's drink. I'm going to take it from Jeff. It's a little bit too much drink from me. Says the guy with a bubba. A bubba? What's a bubba? Uh, it's Here. this little sippy cup he has. It's a bubba. <laughs> That's my bottle. These dragon fries are pretty bomb.
Jeffrey, stop! We just got back to the room for the night. Let's review our pig and acre. So, what uh, how'd you feel about it, Amanda? Um, I got the prime rib. It was mostly fat. It was it was good. It was good flavor. Um, the sides weren't mind boggling. No, the mac and cheese. It was lacking. It wasn't great in. The mashed potatoes and the red-eyed gravy would have been great, but I didn't have very much red-eyed gravy. Nope. And it was kind of upsetting. Nope. There was, it was a really small portion this time. Um, yeah. And it was kind of cold. Yeah, it was, it, it cold. was cold. Like the atmosphere of Pig and Anchor. Yeah. They had some live music going on toward the end. It's like uh, Carnival's own little uh, Texas Roadhouse. That's what it reminds me of, yeah. But tomorrow is Jamaica. Yeah. So, uh, I think scattered thunderstorms though all day. Scattered thunderstorms and... Uh, we didn't get our tickets for our excursion, so... We gotta figure that out in the morning. We're gonna try and figure that out first thing in the morning. Yeah, but we'll be in Jamaica next time you guys see us. So, good night. Bye, guys.